Well, here today I'm Robert Potter with KSIH, the sprayer product specialist for the region. Uh, today we're going to show you our new uh, Patriot 50 series sprayer. Uh, one of the first things you notice when you walk up and look at this machine is you're going to notice a new engine hood and styling available. So more of a modern type of look. It's got some uh, bold edges, curves, and things to that. The nice part about this, as, as you see new products from Case IH moving forward, this will be the new look and feel for all machines. The next thing you're going to see on the 50 Series Patriot is we do have a new cab. So a new cab with an all new armrest in it, a new right hand console, a new seat, a couple different packages for trim as far as a deluxe package or a luxury package with leather seats and so on and so forth. Uh, as we move back over here, uh, one thing you'll see is we're, we still maintained our same service center that we kind of had in the past. We've got a couple different options here. Uh, this machine actually has our automated rinse system in it. So uh, we've got a nice little touch screen here to kind of automate some of those features uh, for filling and rinsing and cleaning out the product. Still offer the machine with our chemical inductor. Uh, a few changes here. Uh, we've improved some gaskets, some sealing. Uh, put a rinse tank or a, a measure sight glass in there and then also have a jug rinse station in there. Uh, toolbox again uh, a little bit larger toolbox a little bit better gasket in there to uh, keep dust and things out of that toolbox. If you move up to the machine you're going to kind of see our engine hood opening has changed so now that engine hood will open up and flip over the top gives you a little bit better accessibility to the engine compartment itself. Uh, on the front side of the engine, we're going to have new screens uh, for easy removal and disassemble and reassemble so you can get in there and clean things out. The other thing we have on this is we also have the optional for a reversing fan. So if you want to blow out those screens, you can change the direction of the uh, engine fan and you can blow that into reverse to kind of clean those screens out. Uh, continuing back on the boom, so we're still going to offer all the same boom configurations that we had in the past. Uh, we're going to have a 90 foot boom, a 100 foot boom, 120 foot, 132 and 135. Uh, a few of the th changes on the boom itself, so the spray bars themselves, uh, we've made a few changes here. We're going to have a little bit larger opening on our nozzle body, so we're going to go to a 21 second, 21 30 seconds opening on that, and that's going to give us about a 20% flow increase. The other thing you're going to see is we've got AIM Command Flex 2 on the sprayer, so we've got some new NCVs, uh, some redesigned cabling, and a few other features there that are going to be very handy for you guys using our PWM system. Uh, if I work my way around the back of the machine, uh, we can come take a look at the center section. So a few changes back here on the center section. What you're going to notice is you're going to notice uh, we've cleaned things up a little bit. We've removed some ECUs. Uh, did some rerouting of our hydraulic lines and our electrical lines and kind of cleaned up this whole area of the sprayer quite a bit. Uh, from a serviceability standpoint, on our strainers we added drain valves on there so you can drain product out to take those off and clean those up uh, and get those clean without having product run down your, your arms as you're taking those off to clean the screens. One other thing that we added was a nozzle wash station. So this nozzle wash station, uh, basically what it has is a water spigot underneath here that you can pull water from your rinse tank. And then it's got an air chuck up underneath here that you can use to blow the product out. So if we have a tip that gets plugged, we can bring that over to this part of the station, we can rinse it off with water, then we can move it over to the air chuck and we can kind of blow that out and put that back on the machine. Up here on all the machines we'll have uh, the option or we will have one camera standard so we'll use that as our backup camera uh, on the display in the cab that has a dedicated screen to run on. It will also come up anytime you go into reverse. If we keep moving our way around the boom to the other side of the machine, a uh, couple things we'll take a look at there, a couple more changes. Again, probably the first big noticeable change is on this machine we have direct injection, so this will be a factory installed option from us as, now, as well. Uh, you can get this with two tanks uh, and then either one injection pump or two injection pumps. So again, that's for your direct injection for injecting chemical into your product line. Uh, one other serviceability item here on the battery box is we made this cover a little smaller, a little easier to remove and to install. And then we've also got a new battery disconnect switch. As we keep kind of making our way back forward, uh, we'll 
take a look underneath and we'll take a look at our new suspension system. So this is probably one of the other major changes to this uh, Patriot sprayer is uh, you'll notice a whole new suspension underneath and we've gone to what we call a four bar linkage system uh, with an airbag. Uh, this will actually give us actually a little better ride than what we had today with our current sprayer. So ride quality has been improved uh, and has been very well received by the folks that have been in it. Probably the last thing that we're just going to touch on here on the outside of the machine is our front fill. So our front fill, we now have the option to do an air reclaim on our front fill so we can clean out that product tank and push that product forward and then push it back out so we don't have any unused product in this tank or in this line. The last feature we have on here is our front fill flow meter. Uh, that basically monitors the flow going into our product tank. So it's nice for guys that want to fill to a certain level, they can monitor what their tank level is here right from the display. Uh, if you want to hop up in the cab, we'll take a few minutes and we'll take a look at the new cab. So inside the cab here again, all new cab. Uh, what you're going to notice right away when you sit down in the cab, uh, we've got a couple monitors. So we've got our Raven Viper 4 monitor here. This is going to do all of our precision farming applications. So whatever is going to make the sprayer spray as far as mapping and guidance, that's going to be controlled through the Viper 4. Uh, our Pro 1200 display, that's going to be our machine display. So all of our engine parameters, hydraulics, uh, climate control, uh, phone, radio, those will all be ran through the 1200. The third display we have is our A-Post display, and that's just going to give us some information about the machine. So where it's going to give you some fuel levels, def levels, uh, some speed settings. The other big change in the cab here is our joystick and armrest. So you're going to see on the, on the joystick itself, we've got a lot of the most common functionalities on there. We've got our auto steer button. We've got some manual fold buttons, uh, manual up and down. These orange buttons here, these are two, a couple speed preset buttons. Uh, and this is like cruise control in your vehicle. So you can set these to two different speeds. One might be your spray speed. Number two might be set at your turnaround speed. And then as you toggle between those buttons, the machine will automatically accelerate or decelerate to that speed you have set. The other button we have on the joystick is a scroll wheel. So this will set your max travel speed forward. Uh, and then we have a reverse shuttle here on the bottom, which this button will automatically change direction of travel for you while you're moving through the field. Uh, a few other things on the armrest itself. Uh, we just have a few buttons here, these number one through four. Uh, those are user configurable buttons. The user can kind of set those up for different functions that they want to on their own. Uh, we've got a couple other uh, pump switch button. Uh, these buttons over here will move our axles in and out a few more manual fold buttons here, and then these buttons are what we call infotainment buttons to jump to screens on the 1200. So this one will take me to my climate control. Uh, if I do that, I can go to my radio or my phone. The orange buttons on the side, those are my RPM buttons. Uh, so we've got a low idle and a high idle and then a traction control. And what that traction control does is because our wheel motors are now infinitely variable with a speed sensor in there, under normal conditions, what's going to happen is as your tires start to spin, it's going to cut hydraulic flow to that wheel and it's going to put it to the other three wheels that have the best traction. If I turn this traction control on, this is going to allow the wheels to actually slip or spin for you. So again, it kind of works like the traction control in your vehicle. Uh, when it's off, the tires aren't going to slip and spin. When it is on, the tires will be allowed to spin. All right, and these are a lot of the new features we have here on our 50 Series Patriot Sprayer. Uh, if you want to learn more about it or have some questions, please reach out to your Titan sales representative and they'd be more than happy to help you.